Hi YouTubers, welcome to the video and uh, I'm in the garden videoing this but the simple reason is it's too, it's too dark and dull but um, this is part two of the multiband vertical antenna multi-purpose thing now I've finished the coil this is the coil here coils wound it's got SO239 there and it's got the tap so I can tap down the coil you know for the different bands and help SWR etc I shall improve the crocodile clip arrangement at some point in the future now um, on the top end is a brake pipe fitting which goes straight to the coil and you can see this is a a dipole I've been working it's not telescopic it threads into there and then on the bottom I can put onto the bottom in here you can see it there it's threaded there I can thread into the bottom the um, counterpoise unit and uh, this is actually ground there and the centre of the coax go the coaxial connector goes to the, the taps you know down here okay now if I want to I could convert it so it could be a wire at the top a long wire quarter wave or whatever by threading that in with a wing nut and then that could connect to an eyelet on a long wire and uh, the same at the bottom this could be like the counterpoise again for uh, a cable antenna now if I want to raise it up so that this is not too low to the ground I can do that and what I can do, I can take that fitting out and by inserting this plug here in the centre here, this shorts out the connector here so this becomes like where the tap is. I can tap down the coil and then I can put another rod in here if I've got one. I haven't got one at the moment. So I can have a rod out the top, which goes in here, take that out, and that can thread in there, like that. I'll just thread it in roughly. And then on the bottom would be a, another rod inside here. I haven't got one at the moment. And then on the bottom here, I haven't made it yet, I can have another SO239 and this can be the counterpoise here radials so it, ra it raises the coil off the ground and I'll, I'll just thread it in, I'll stop the camera and I'll thread it in and show you what I'm referring to right, so you can see it now it against the house if I can. So the idea is because these sockets shorted to ground, the inner, it means the bolt in the middle can come all the way down to here and this becomes the counterpoise at the bottom and I can still tap the aerial up here and all it is is a banana plug which shorts the connector out there which then transfer the ground connector here becomes the bottom of the coil and there we have it and uh, I've tried putting it on the analyzer but I'm not sure how to test a, a coil I've, I've checked it and it does dip 
it didn't place up the up the band on the SWR without an aerial connected to it and by changing the tap you move the dip in the SWR up the band so I'm assuming that's, that will work when it's connected, finally connected to a, an aerial wire or a full length vertical or half way vertical but um, thanks for watching so far I'll try and explain all this with a sheet of paper next ok I'll try and explain it now how it all works this is the loading coil here the top has got a thread mount here so I can insert a dipole either a solid dipole or a length of wire the coil is wound on a former which is the old plastic garden bench garden table uh, seat or chair or table or whatever you call it and uh, the centre, this is an SO239 connector here the centre of it goes to a length of wire with a crocodile clip so I can tap down the windings in the bottom of this plastic bit recycled um, is another threaded piece at the bottom and this is connected to the shield or the chassis of the SO239 so that will then can be plugged into a transceiver here or radio receiver the counterpoise unit here is a square metal plate with 12 wires which can go to counterpoise I haven't got any wire at the moment and that can be screwed into the bottom here with a, a single bolt now this can be on the bottom of a pole or on a length of wire and fed or whatever and it should allow me to tap down the winding to give me different bands depending on the length of wire so it's like a multi-band antenna and now um, the counterpoise piece here can be removed and what I can do is by inserting a shorting SO239 plug here it will then connect this wire to this connector shorts it out so I don't need to use this I can then insert I'll just make sure the camera is recording I can then insert another pole in here to raise it off the ground so this coil has been raised up off the ground now with a, another rod that can go to the center of another SO239 and the counterpoise plate here can be used at the bottom and I think you can see that from my first part of the video and that can go to a transceiver again so you could you could have it almost center fed if you wanted by using this connector in this arrangement here changing the taps if you're making one of these yourselves obviously um, I intend to use it with um, a flagpole type arrangement telescopic flagpole and also you know when I'm uh, when I'm portable and then when I'm at home I can connect it to a vertical rod or I can use it on a length of long wire if I want or any combination sort of thing uh, it's all made from scrap sort of materials um, I couldn't quite work out how to test it to see whether it uh, tunes so what I've done I connected to the end fed half wave and then seeing what the SWR and then by moving this tap down the SWR changes frequency at the lowest point so I can change it up and down up to 30 megs the band um, the only thing I've found when this connection here is fully against the top that's on the um, 20 meter band because my aerial is um, half wave down the garden so if it had a, a longer aerial 
I'm sure it would tune further down the lower bands if I reduced the length of this. Because uh, the, the minimum band, the lowest, sorry, is that right? The lowest frequency it will work on this coil will depend on the length of the wire here. If I lengthen that, then this this will turn up the bands in frequency, but it won't turn down the band based on the length of this arrow here. I hope this encourages other ham enthusiasts to have a go at making their own aerial coils and bits and pieces. Um, there was no logic to this really, I just looked at somebody else's and copied it to a certain extent with whatever bits I had laying around. Um, you know, so it's uh, basically um, an old plastic garden table leg I've used and the, the fittings are brake bike fittings the wire is garden wire which is like galvanised which seems to work okay and um, you know I can't give it a proper test because I still haven't got the right length rods and things like this and length of wire what I'm going to use for the counterpoise if I can get hold of it it's the wrong time of year um, you'll find um, lots of people throw electric lawnmowers away with the extension leads on them, the orange cables. Well, they'll make ideal counterpoise cables because you can split the neutral and live out of them and you can get two good lengths of wire. But at the moment, because it's a time of year it is, nobody's throwing away these old lawnmowers the, or electric hedge trimmers or anything like that with these long orange leads on but they can be ideal for making just the counterpoise wires. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.